Hey Techno Studs, in this video, let's take a look at what it would look like if we wanted to utilize a DHCP version 6 server. In our network, our layer 3 switch is going to be our default gateway. And so it's actually what's going to be sending out our router advertisements. Now, let's take a look at the DHCP version 6 process. In this case right here, we are going to specify that our demo Pi 2 is actually going to be a DHCP version 6 server. And so that is going to be what's going to hand out some additional uh, options, some additional information about this network. So what's going to happen is what's no matter what, the process is going to start out with the neighbor discovery protocol. And this client connects to the network and it's going to send out a router solicitation. That's going to go to all routers that are on the network. This layer three switch now has joined that router multicast group. And so we'll respond back with a router advertisement, giving some information to this demo laptop. Some of the information that it will give is some of the flags, the auto configuration flag, the other flag, and the managed flag. And let's say in this case right now, we want this client to auto configure itself to come up with its own IP address. So that flag is set to one. We also want it to get some additional information from this DHCP version six server right here. And so that's set to one. And since those two are set to one, this managed is gonna be set to zero. So this demo laptop will come up with its own IP address but it also needs that additional information from the DHCP version 6 server. So what it will do now is it will send out a discovery and it's going to send out a discovery to the multicast address for DHCP version 6 servers. So it sends this discovery out. This demo Pi 2 is part of that multicast group, so we'll be receiving that. In which case, then it will respond with a DSCP advertisement with the information inside of it. So that will get be sent back to the demo laptop. And then this demo laptop, similar to the process with IP version 4 DHCP, this demo laptop will make the request for it and the, the Pi then will return with a reply to it. Now, since IP version 6 doesn't have broadcast, when we use, take a look at the DHCP process for IP version 4, we will have some broadcast in there. The, 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 there's no broadcast for IP version 6, so what happens is this first one is a multicast to all the DHCP servers, but the rest of these are all unicast and sent directly uh, to this demo laptop. Now, let's take a look if we, this is for a stateless where the demo laptop comes with its own IP address, comes up with its own IP address. Let's take a look at what it would look like if this were actually to be a stateful. We want this demo Pi 2 to come up with a IP address for this demo laptop. Well, in that case right there, all this, the, all that we change here is this switch right here would actually send out a auto configure as being a zero and the other as being zero and a manage to be one. And then this demo laptop would know, okay, I know now what router I'm supposed to use, but now I need to go directly to this demo Pi 2 to get some additional information. And so then it goes through this whole process really goes through this whole thing. Uh, so it's very similar, except for it gets an IP address from the DHCP version 6 server, uh, along with the other information. So that's the only difference there. So that is DHCP version 6 process if you were to implement DHCP version 6 server on your network.